I'm moving on now to putting the radius on the top of the horn guide that, to correspond with the radius on the frame now. I'll try my best to let you see what I'm doing, but my arms might get in the way. It's just a matter of doing a rocking motion until you get your radius completely round the corner. Uh, there's various ways you can hold it in vice, it just depends how you are you are you comfortable with in doing it. And once I get a nice even radius, uh I'll try it in on in frame then. It's just a matter of trying it in that radius then. Uh, obviously I've got two frames together here that, so bear that in mind uh, when it actually fits into the frame it will be uh, slightly raised above the frame like that. But just for trying purposes I've left the frames together yeah, I'm happy with that. So I've just got to, I've just got a few more to do. I've done two, two, four, six, eight. Uh, I've done nine. I've just got three more to do. Then we'll reconvene, perhaps on milling machine, to put that little notch in next. Right, so I've got all my radiuses cut on on the uh, on the short leg that fits into the frame. This is my sample. I've just got to now cut this five sixteenths notch in where my horn keep will go, the keeper plate. And basically, what I'm going to do, I'm I've I've measured a line from the bottom, and scribed a line to the required depth five sixteenths. I'm going to go and set this one up in my milling machine now and put a series of stops on my miller so that I can just drop them all in and take a couple of cuts across to to get that notch out. So I'll take you over to the milling machine now and then uh, we'll continue over there. Right, I'm over in the milling machine now and uh, obviously if you've not got a milling machine you can do this with a milling attachment in, in your lathe. There's no problem at all really. It's just more convenient if you've got a milling machine, that's all. So I've explained all that in the past. Uh, and I digress here. We're in April now and it's freezing cold in my workshop. I've had to put a heater on. I thought I'd done with that. Uh, it was warmer in February. Anyway, I digress. So what we've got to do then, we've got to cut this little notch in for the horn keep, this is my sample and it's got to go down the depth of the flange and 5 sixteenths in from the end so what I'm doing, I've set a stop a stop up on my vise I'm putting the first one in now and setting it up so I've touched on I've touched on to the top of the job onto the top face 
and I'm going to move down now and you do it with either your dials or your or your digital readout or your vernier whatever you've got on your machine and uh, I think I'm going to do this in a couple of cuts so I'm going to move down um, I've got to go down 3 sixteenths, that's 187 so I'm going to go down uh, in fact I might do it in three cuts I'll take 60th hour at a time just to see how we progress uh, so I've got my dial set um, I've touched on tip top so I'm now going to touch on tip front now face I'm going to I'm gonna set my dials I'm going to move in 5 sixteenths now, that's uh, 0.312 in 1000. That's it, lock my slides up. So that's the first cut, second cut another 16. And then we finish in cut number 16, that will take me down to a depth of 187. Just left a little fraction on that, it's probably sprung down. Uh, I'll just take another couple of thou off just to. Yeah, it's just it's just pushed the metal down, that's all, that's it. Sweet being cast, it's splintered off now. So uh, I'm going to leave my X axis set where it is now with the locks on, and I'm going to use my, my Y axis, my Z axis, sorry, my up and down axis, my Z axis, uh, and, and go down a series of three cuts with each one. Um, and then I'll release this out of my vise, and then I've just got to put my, my next one in. Push it up to the stop and everything's set then and I'll just progress through them. Right, progress report. I've now got my notches cut in my horn guides. So my horn guides are complete except for one thing. I've got to drill and tap an hole to accept the uh, keeper plate. Um, it's 5 sixteenths by 5 sixteenths steel which will bridge across the horn the horn openings so just to recap uh, then I've numbered them all up for the left hand side kept them in pairs L1 that's for the first the first slot side of the slot from the front and then I've marked that one up R1 and so on so that they kept in pairs uh, other than drilling that drilling and tapping that hole now I think that's it and to make the keepers that's it with, with horn guides uh, next job will, will be to fit them in the frames I think um, so 
that's my home garage completed then and uh, thanks for watching and if you've not seen my other videos of uh, me doing my boiler and, and everything else to do with this loco, take a look at them. And if not, I'll catch you on my next video. So uh, thanks for watching. Bye for now.